what's up you guys it's Adana. welcome back to my channel for my loyal subscribers thank you guys so much for rocking with me this sunday and every other sunday that you have really appreciate each and every one of you if you are new to this channel after you've watched this video if you like what you see go ahead subscribe hit that notification button and follow me on instagram all right so i am super excited you guys because i have partnered with rosh review and if you're a pre-pa a pa student a new grad pa a seasoned pa like this is legitimately a video for you because we can all use this app, which is cool. So Ross Review has both a mobile app and a desktop version of the app. So I'm gonna click into it. I'm gonna show you all of this stuff on the phone. Uh, one thing that happens is once you get into the app, obviously you'll have like this home landing page on the mobile version and on the desktop version as well. You'll have your overall percentage correct that you've taken, you know, so I've taken over 3000 of their questions, which was all of their questions. So overall I gotten 69% correct. Um, the probability of me passing the pants was an 86% and then my projected pants score now, which is really dope because you're like, okay, like that's, you know, like pretty accurate, you know, like it's like you're, you're. You're looking at this to see, all right, what would I do or how would I do on the pants, which is something good to have because it can either light a fire under your behind if you're not passing the pants or like make you feel good about yourself if you are um, projected to pass the pants. So really like that aspect of it. Um, but once you get in, you will create an exam. Now I use this a lot in didactic year, in clinical year, and when I was studying for the boards. Um, obviously you can choose tutor mode or test mode. When you go into test mode, there's a time section. So you can choose whether or not you want it timed. I always typically did it in tutor mode. Only when I was studying for my boards, did I do a time mode just to kind of get in the mode of, you know, being on a clock. So when you go in, you'll hit all of the questions that you want to use or just unused, however you want to go through. Um, there is this section here on categories. So you can go in, like when I was doing my clinicals, I would do like, oh, um, peds, right? Because I was on a pediatric rotation, I had an EO are. Or I would do, um, let's say, OBGYN because I was on my women's health uh, rotation. So you can choose what questions, like sections you want to choose from. Uh, and typically they'll each have like to, you know, over like 200 questions for you to choose from. Um, here, I only have 24 questions available to me because obviously like I've done all of them and I don't really have access to the key bank like that at the moment, but this is something that you can also do uh, and get access to because they have an option for you to get free access to their key bank. They will give you um, access to a few questions. You can test it out for yourself. So you'll go in, you'll enter the number of questions that you want, which is obviously the 24 um, that I have. I'll hit done and then begin now. Now, <laughs> let me just forewarn you, okay? Like this is by no means, <laughs> this is by no means um, any indicator of the type of provider I'm gonna be, okay? Bear with me if I get some of these questions wrong. Um, then it's because obviously I've been out of school for a little while and I have not been practicing yet, but we are going to go ahead and just do some of these questions. And if I get them right, we'll see. So it says a 24 year old pregnant woman presents with a rash on her hands with itching that is worse at night. Physical exam shows excoriation. So, you know, like this is scabies. Uh, that was like typical scabies presentation. The webs in the web spaces of the hand with tiny burrows noted scabies. All right. Several members in her household have similar symptoms. Scabies. <laughs> Which of the following is the most appropriate, appropriate treatment? All right. So appropriate treatment, um, you know, typically obvious it's permethrin. Uh, that's what I'm going to go with. Lindane is like not indicated in pregnant women. All right. And so here we go. Right. So permethrin. So now on the side, it has this pair comparison, which is like really dope. Well, this is like one of the best aspects I love about Rosh. Now, <laughs> this will either really hurt your feelings or really make you feel good about yourself. Because now, if you was part of like let two percent that chose that, you know your feelings is hurt. If you were the ninety one percent, you feeling good about yourself because you're like, look, I should know about this. So this obviously gives you a pair comparison with people that are taking the same question, like how they've done which is, I think, really good because you get to see if you're on par. Now this, any like QBank worth its grain and salt, I guess is the term, 
they will have an explanation for you. So it will tell you what promethorin is, why you're using it. Um, again, scabies, which is what I was talking to you about, burrows, web spaces, discoriations, it's all typical of scabies. Uh, and then it will tell you why the other answers are incorrect, which again, anything worth its grain and salt, that's gonna do that. But one thing Rosh Review does, which I really like, is also like goes one step further. And so here you're able to, it's either you know it or you don't, or it's just like extra information that you can have. You will have another question, how is scabies transmitted? Um, it's transmitted just from person to person, like from, uh, you know, being somebody infected or like even in like your actual like couches and things like that, right? So skin to skin contact, person to person, obviously. And then after that, you're obviously going to have to like clean everything, throw everything out, you know, give all of these different uh, patient education. So that is that, right? Your girl still got it. I got the answer right. High five for me. <laughs> All right, so a 29-year-old woman presents with a cyclic pelvic pain that has been increasing over the last seven months. She complains of significant dysmenorrhea, heavy menstrual bleeding, and dyspareunia. So that's like your typical like endometriosis presentation. Um, let me just go ahead and like continue reading to see if this is exactly what it, what it is. Um, she uses condoms for birth control on physical exam. Her uterus is retroverted and non-mobile. She has a palpable adenexal mass on the left side. Her serum pregnancy test is negative, which of the following is the most likely diagnosis. Okay, so actually dysmenorrhea, she has an adenexal mass. So this is where, like I said, rash review is like notorious for being hard. I might go with functional ovarian cysts. Um, she doesn't have pelvic inflammatory disease. I wouldn't say we're in cancer. Oh gosh, this is what got me the last time, dysmenorrhea. I'm gonna go with endometriosis. Stick with your gut. You see that? Stick with your gut. I got it right. Because again, so you're like gonna go through and obviously you see again, peer comparison, people are like in the same thinking mode as me. 30% would have chosen functional ovarian cysts. I chose endometriosis with the other 63%. That is kind of like what it is. All right, so you again go through explanation and the pictures. So this is like one of like, the three things that most people like about Ross Review, I think I've said this, but it is the pictures and obviously, again, you know, the fact that you get to see what how well you will do, the fact that the questions are notoriously hard, and then again, that they're catered to our scope of practice. So I love this. And speaking of the pictures, I want to show you this nice little neat thing that um, Ross Review has come up with. So let me just you can pause this, you can save and exit your exam. Again, when you go in, you can hit exams and you will see all of the exams that you've taken. So obviously, like I have a lot of exams. I've taken a lot of exams, as you can see. Um, but on this, you can also buy boost exams, which I did for pants. So I bought several boost exams. They're anywhere from like $15 to $30. Uh, and they'll give you a bunch of questions that you can go through. And then I was also assigned exams by my professors. So again, for each different rotation that I was on, I asked, can I be assigned an exam? And they gave me access to that as well. So these are all resources that you have access to. And with the Ross Review QBank, you have access to them. You can buy purchase a subscription for either 30 days, 90 days, or um, 365 days. So if you were doing like a quick like pants review, pants prep, you know, you might want to do like the 30 day or the 90 day. Um, actual, you know, purchase. But if you want to do this for like clinical year or didactic year, then obviously the 365 days is the place to be. All right. So that is the key bank. But if you are like, you know, you know, like you're more of like a visual person or anything like that, Ross Review has one up themselves and they have actually created a, um, a Ross review, rapid review. So when you when I go in here, like I downloaded it to my phone so that I could show it to you guys, but it is a rapid review of all of the things that makes Ross review like really good, which is the pictures um, put into 825 or so pages and you have access to it. 
in an ebook format. So again, mobile on the go, uh, because obviously you're a PA student or a PA, like you, you're, you're busy, right? So that is why it's in this form. Really good option. So here it's gonna obviously have it broken down into categories for you. Again, you can go through and study um, when you're studying for the pants or even if you're like in school, you're in your OB section, like I said, or you're in your HEMOC section, and then it has it here. So this is what I was talking about. Do you see all of these pictures here? The, this is what makes Rosh Review like, really good because if you are like sometimes when you're studying like you may not necessarily remember all the words but you see a picture and you're like oh yeah I so got that so there are like on the pants there are rhythm strips so seeing and knowing like right away that hey this is a fib or this is a flutter and you're you know you're counting how many it is it's a four to one a flutter or a three to one a flutter however you want to do that being able to just automatically recognize it is key and that's what these pictures in this ebook does for you. So hopefully this has opened you guys' mind and opened you guys' lives up to Rosh Review. And one thing I do want to tell you guys is you all, you all, every last one of you have access to, like I said, Rosh Review's questions for free. You do not have to put a credit card in. And I know, like, I know a bunch of you know, like we all know, like there are those things where you have to like put a credit card in and then all of a sudden you forgot that you put your credit card information in and you're getting charged for a month worth of whatever it may be. That is not what this is with Rush Review. They, you just give them your email, they'll send you access to now the QBank with, I believe it is 25, 24 questions. So you can actually go through and test it out for yourself. Another thing that they do is on their website, they have this template that they've made where it allows you to choose which QBank is good for you. So you get to put in like, all of the top Q banks that you're considering, you'll put in their information like cost and all that stuff. And Rosh Review is providing that because they want to be non-biased. And you know, obviously all it is, like what they want is for you to pass and to like win. <laughs> they want you to win. And so they're giving you access to this so that you can make the best decision for yourself, which is really dope. And I think you want that in anything that you're doing in life, right? That is it. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you have any questions for me on anything, please leave it in the comment section below. Uh, this is a short far away, I feel, to ace PA school. I used it a lot in PA school. A lot of my friends use it. A lot of PACs use it to pass their research, and I used it to pass my boards. I will be sure to leave in the description box um, a link to Rosh Review where you can test it out for yourself. Please go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. I will talk to you guys next time.